Hi all, today we are going to discuss about some of the problems regarding the probability. We already discussed what is probability and the ways of finding probabilities. And also it is given that probability of getting an event it is represented by the letter P of E uh, which is equal to the number of cases favorable to the event E to the total number of cases. So this is a general formula for finding probability and also we are having probability of not getting an event or not getting the favorable event. It is denoted by the letter P E bar which is equal to 1 minus P of E. It is another equation and also we know that the probability value is lies between 0 and 1. These are the main formulas we all discussed. Also we know that for combination we are going to use another formula that is NCR that is equal to N factorial divided by R factorial and N minus R factorial. A letter is taken out at random from the word assistant and the another is taken out from statistics. The probability that they are the same letter. Here it is given that we are having two words that is one is assistant and another one is statistics. And we know that assistant word consisting of letters, two letters A and A that is 2A then 1I, 1N. 3s and double t. This forms the first letters assisted. Then the next letter is statistics. That is statistics contains 1a, 1c, double i, triple s and triple t. Okay. We are having these numbers from Two different two words, the two word that is assistant and statistics. So the prob we want to find out the probability that they are the same letter. A letter is taken random from the two word and the probability that they are the same letter. Okay, then first of all, we are only having four letters that is A, I, S, and T. That is same for all this. That is, we are, we are having A, A, then I, I, then S, here also S, here also T. We are not including N and C here. So, we are only considering the four letters. So, now the first one is the probability of choosing A. The probability of choosing A will be. We know that from the assistant letter is consisting of 9 letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And here also statistics is consisting of 10 letters. It is 10 letters. That is out of 9 letters we want one letter A and the probability is or the combination will be 2. Here also we are having 2. So the combination is 2C1. And then from the second one that is from the statistics we are having 10 letters and out of which we are choosing one letter that is A and it is only one combination that is that is, we are multiplying the two probabilities that is from the assistant and from the statistics we are getting the letter A. So, we get 2 factorial divided by, this is 10 factorial. 10 factorial is 10 into 9 into 8 factorial. We are also having here 8 factorial. We are cancelling this and 
here 2 factorial divided by 10 into 90 that is equal to 1 by 45 that is the first letter is 1 by 45 the probability is 1 by 45 and like this we are having probability of getting i probability of getting i is out of 9 p1 we want there is only one i in the uh, assistant so 1 c1 into here it is 2 that is 2 c1 that is these are same these are same so we get 1 by 45 then the next is the letter s the letter s here first uh, letter we are having 3 c1 then in the next next also we are having 3 c1 is 10 c1 and we get this as 1 by 10 also probability of getting t is that is from 9 c1 we are getting 2 c1 and from 10 c1 we are getting 3 so that is 1 by 15 then the total probability will be the total probability is the sum of these 4 that is 1 by 45, 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15. On calculating this, we get 90 by 90. Probability of getting same letter, same letters taken random from the letters assistant and statistics. And this C is the answer. In a shuffling pack of playing cards, 4 are accidentally dropped. The Probability that missing card should be one from each suit is that we are we, here we are having playing cards. Playing card consisting of total 52 card, total 52 cards, and each 52 card is divided into four suit and four suit each containing. 13 card that is 13 into 4 that is 52 total 52 cards and it is a suit there are 4 suits and each suit is consisting of 13 cards then the, from the problem we are having the 4 cards are accidentally dropped and the probability that the missing card should be one from each suit so, the favorable cases is chance of getting one from the first suit and then from one, uh, the next, then from another one. There are four chances. So, getting, we want, we get from each suit. So, first of all, from the 13, first suit, one is dropped. Then, from the next suit, one is dropped. And then the next and then the fourth one. So, we are having the favorable cases is the fourth power of 13 C1. 13 raised to 4 is 2, 1, 9, 7. This is the favorable case. And we know that the probability of getting an event is equal to Total number of case, total number upon favorable cases. Favorable case divided by total case. So we get the favorable case that is 2, 1, 9, 7. Then the total case is 52, C4. Total there are 52 cards and out of which 4 is Drop that is 497 divided by 52 factorial divided by 4 factorial, then 52 minus 4, 48 factorial. On calculating this, we get 2, 1, 
0.97 divided by 20825. This is the probability. So, the answer is the third one. Third one is the answer. A basket contains 5 apples and 7 oranges and another basket. Basket contains 4 apples and 8 oranges. One fruit is picked out from each basket. The probability that fruits are both apples or both oranges. Here it is given that we are having two baskets. That is first there is 5 apples and 7 oranges. Then another bag containing four apples and eight oranges. Here it is tall. Here also it is tall. Now, first of all, one fruit is picked out from each basket. Then the probability that the fruits are both apples or both oranges. So, we, we are having the probability selecting an apple from both. Selecting both apples that is P1 of apple into P2. One for the first basket, basket then second two for the second basket that is P2 of apple that is which is equal to we are having total, total number of fruit is told and it is one is taken that is told C out of told C1 we are picking 5 apples that is 5 C1 then from the next it is also 12 we are having 4 apples there this 4 C1 then likewise we are having probability of getting both oranges which is equal to P1 of O multiplying P2 of O that is which is equal to here also 12 C1, 7 oranges, that is 7 C1 multiplying 12 C1 upon 8 C1. So, the total probability, the required probability is total or the required, the required probability is equal to P of both apple plus probability of getting both orange. This we are adding the above. This 5 C1, 12 C1, 4 C1, 12 C1 plus 7 C1, 12 C1, this 8 C1 by 12 C1. And on calculating this, we get 20 by 144 plus 56 divided by 144, which is equal to 76 by 144. This is the answer. So, the answer is the option D. The box for one contains three cards. Bearing 1, 2, 3. Box 2 contains 5 cards. Bearing numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And box 3 contains 7 cards. Bearing numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. A card is drawn from each of the boxes. Let XI be the number on the card drawn from the ith box i is equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, here we are having three boxes. In these three boxes, we are having the numbers 1, 2, 3 in first box. Then in the second box, we are having 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And the next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The first problem is about the probability that x1 plus x2 plus x3 is odd. 
that is x1 is the number is from the first box x2 is from the second x3 is from the third box okay now we want to find from the first problem we want the x1 plus x2 plus x3 will be a will be an odd number and we are having two ways of getting odd that is one odd and two even and all three are odd for example in the first case 1 plus 3 1 plus 2 plus 4 which is equal to 7 which is an odd number so 1 is odd the 2 is even then the 3 then the second case is 3 odd that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 that which is equal to 9 it is also odd there are two conditions that we are getting an odd number on adding x1 x2 and x3 so the probability the required probability will be if we are having taking three odd here three odd here so there are in the first two box there are two odd so we are having two c1 then from the next box here there are five c1 so we are here we getting one two three odd that is three c1 then from the next box that is 7 c1 we are having 1 2 3 4 4 c1 then the first case is having three cases that is x1 x1 is odd then x2 and x3 are even then x2 is odd then x1 and x3 is even then x3 is odd and x2 and x1 are even so here we are having three cases so 3 c1 5 c1 and 7 c1 is the total number of cases out of which we are having the first one is the x1 is odd. Here we are having 2 odd. That is 2 c1. Then x2 and x3 are even. Here, here we are having 2 odd, 1 even. Here 3 odd and 2 even. Here 4 odd and 3 even. So, the first case is x1 is odd. So here 2 c1. 2 odd is here. So we get 2 c1. Then the next x2 and x3 are even. So here it is 2 c1 and here it is 3 c1. Here it is 3 c1. This is the first case. Then, then the next case is x2 is odd and x1, x3 are even. That is, x1 is even. That is, 1, c1, x2 is odd. Here it is 3 odd. 3, c1, then x3 is even. That is, 3, c1 plus x3 is odd. So, we are having 4 odd here. So, 4 c1 x2 and x1 are even so here are 1 c1 and 2 c1 on calculating this we get 28 plus 8 plus 12 plus 9 a whole divided by 105 which is equal to 53 divided by 105 this is the first question that is the the answer is 53 divided by 105. The second problem is the probability that x1, x2 and x3 are in arithmetic progression. That is the second problem. That is we are having x1, 
x2 and x3 which must be in arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression is the first term plus the third term divided by 2 will get the second term that is here it is 3 plus 9 divided by 2 is told by 2 is equal to 6 that is the second term. So we are having the condition x1 plus x3 is equal to twice that of the second term and for this to happen that is this is an even term. The, the, this term is an even term. So x1 plus x3 must be an even number. x1 plus x3 must be an even number. So x1 and x3 become odd or both x1 and x3 will be odd or even. For example, if 1 plus 3 is equal to 4, that is here it is both are odd, then 2 plus 6 is equal to 8, here both are even. So, for, the, for this condition to be satisfied, we want odd or even in both the cases. So, the required probability will be, that is we are having 3 boxes here and also we are having 2 odd from the first case. Here we are not taking this, we are only taking x1 and x3. So, second basket is not considered. So, the first case is both are odd. Then we are having, here it is 2 odd. So, 2 c1. Here it is 4 odd, that is 4 c1, then plus 1 c1, here it is 3 c1, that is the out of which the total number of is 1 3 c1, 5 c1 and 7 c1. So, it is equal to 11 by 1 not 5. This is the case. The probability that x1, x2 and x3 are in arithmetic progression is 11 by 1 not 5. It's the answer.